Hi, I'm Tunda Duganchi and today I will create some bigger toothpick roses. Uh, I will use thick piping consistency icing. It has a little bit of burgundy color. Piping bags, uh, 101 decorating tip. These toothpick rose stencils from Two Tees. And I will use a paintbrush, the toothpicks and the paint palette. And uh, first let me show you the consistency of the icing because uh, the key to make toothpick roses is to have a pretty thick icing. So you see this icing holds its shape very well, it's very thick. Now I would like this to have a little bit of variation in color. So I have a light burgundy color to start with. And I will take the gel food color I use to color the icing and I will paint a stripe of color inside the bag. Just take the food coloring and paint this stripe of color. And I set this aside and I put the bag in a cup and add the icing. Here is the icing. In the bag. I'm closing the bag. And I put the tip in an other bag. This is very thick icing, so double bagging is not a bad idea altogether. And I open this bag. Push the icing to the bottom. And I will try to add this bag the way that this darker stripe is at the thin part of the tip. So I have my bag ready and I push out the icing until I have this uh, colored stripe coming out. the tip and first I will pipe the rosebud. It's an up and down motion and I turn the toothpick around. So this is the rosebud and then I will pipe three petals up and down and you see my piping hand is not really moving. It's always the toothpick that's moving around. And the last set is five petals. 
and when the rose is ready I pull the toothpick through this stencil and the flower will sit on the stencil and I can reuse my toothpick and you see the the petals have a little bit of darker edge because of the paint we added and again up and down going around for the two for uh, the bud bring my tip and pipe three petals with a little bit of a bigger angle one two three this is an open rosebud sometimes I keep some of the rosebuds as well and some of these open rosebuds because it looks very pretty to make a set uh, on the cookie with full roses and some of these smaller ones And three petals and for the next uh, layer I have a little bit bigger angle from the toothpick when I'm piping the five petals It's always the thick part of the part of the tip that's down, and the thin part is up. four of these full roses and I will make some open rosebuds which is just the three petal version
Uh, I would like some rosebuds. So I will take this tip out. And I go to one size bigger, the 102. in my piping bag and make some that are just the rose buds. And why I pipe some more rose buds for this project? I would like to tell you about some changes in the channel. Uh, I've been posting uh, shorter videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I decided to make a little bit longer videos. So instead of uh, individual cookies, I will show you four cookie sets. And I will post once a week on Saturdays. If you don't want to miss any of those videos, then please subscribe and push that little notification button so you see when the videos go live. And back to these roses, uh, you see that we made some full roses with uh, a rosebud, three petals and a layer of five petals. Then I made some open rosebuds that's exactly the same thing, just the rosebud with the three petals. And at the end, I changed a one size bigger tip because I want just the rosebud. But if I stay at the same size tip, that rosebud will be a little bit insignificant, uh, too tiny compared to the other flowers. So I will have to three different type of roses and when I finish this set I will go and make the same thing in another shade of the same color. I will make some dark, darker burgundy roses for my project because if you make uh, different shades of the same color your flowers, your little arrangements will look beautiful. So once this video part is over, I will show you a picture with an arrangement of these flowers and uh, some of the darker colors. I hope that you find this video helpful and I hope to see you again soon.